get ready with me today to go to a clinic event i am filming this for tiktok but i thought why not film it for youtube as well since i haven't done a get ready with me on here in such a long time so right now it's like 11 a.m i have to go pick up isla at school she already started pre-k yesterday um but i have to go pick her up at 2 30 so and i have to leave out of my house by at least 4 p.m we're on a crunch time i also need to make my lunch before i leave but let's get ready i'm going by myself and i haven't gone to an event by myself recently in a very long time the events i've gone to recently i've gone accompanied by friends and rose is not here so normally i would also go with her um she moved to florida and she left my ass over here <laughs> so like I don't know what it's like to like go to an event by myself anymore and I used to do it a lot before and you guys know this like I've taken you guys along with me to like events and all that stuff and I've been there by myself which I never felt intimidated or like scared or nervous to do so but everything changed so much after COVID and people changed and kind of like when we used to go to an event we used to network so much let me like start doing my makeup when we used to go to events we used to network so much and i'm just using this primer by refi and it's so cool because it kind of sculpts your face at the same time but we used to network so much and if you went alone you always knew someone there and if you didn't know anyone there then you know people would just come up and talk to you and network and just like exchange social medias and just like all of that stuff and i feel like now it's so different like nobody talks to each other nobody knows anybody because there's so many of us now I'm hoping i see someone i know there but i highly doubt it because this agency that i got invited with one that i am newly working with i haven't worked with them before in the past and i don't really know anyone that works with them that i know personally but i'm excited to go and i'm excited to network and nonetheless i'm very very grateful for these opportunities and to be able to go to these events and be invited to these events because there was a moment in my career that i wasn't being invited at all so i am very grateful and any event that comes my way i am going <laughs> even if it's by myself and i'm scared shitless they are celebrating their new mascara today this is the this is the clinique high impact hi-fi full volume mascara i've never tried a mascara from clinique before but they said to wear this mascara today as there will be a lot of opportunities to create content with the brand so that's what i'm going to do i normally do like some lashes as you guys all know but today we're going simple with just mascara and let's put this baby to the test let's see if she's worth it okay i'm just getting into mascara and you guys know this about me owning a whole lash brand and everything but i don't know we're gonna try her out today they also sent in their moisturizer which i'm really excited to try out i've heard really great things about this moisturizer so really excited to try her out so i've already done my brows i'm going to just go ahead and apply this moisturizer to my skin it already feels really hydrating like wow look at that glow like are you seeing that oh my god i love when moisturizers actually hydrate and smooth the skin like wow this might become my new favorite jesus i'm obsessed i'm obsessed foundation i'm going to use today is this one by shiseido this is the synchro skin self refreshing foundation with spf 30 which i'm going to need today and it's an oil free foundation with sunscreen this is in the shade 340 oak i love this foundation especially in the summer in the winter i love it at all times it's just like one of my top foundations because it just makes your skin look so airbrushed especially if you're going to be getting photographs so we're going to need her today so I've already applied foundation on one side of my face, but like you kind of see the before and after. She's a really nice foundation and I really love her and she's not popular. So like no one really talks about her, but trust me when I tell you, you need to test this one out. So I pretty much grabbed my L'Oreal Infallible Concealers and I have the shade 
385 and 360 one i used to conceal and the other one i used to highlight and i do this series on my tiktok which is a high-end versus cheap alternative so i compare a high-end product that i think is similar to the cheap alternative which is which is like drugstore and see if they're a dupe so i got these for that reason because i feel like i have a concealer that would be a perfect match for these and this is actually my first time trying these but i'm already obsessed like they look so so good and they're blending out really really nicely so girl do not sleep on l'oreal and do not sleep on drugstore makeup lately like they've been knocking it out the park like insane but let me just go ahead and blend this out and we'll be moving on to blush after this my favorite um cream bronzer at the moment and this one is by refi this is in the shade tan and i'm blending that out with a bedellium tools golden triangle brush this one is the 968 this is my favorite brush to like blend out any cream products so every time i come back i'm like almost halfway done but it's because i'm also filming for tiktok so bear with me guys i'm trying to do like two videos in one so that i can have bulk content and i don't have to like sit down and film this all over again so that i could be more efficient at giving you guys more content here on youtube so please don't mind it but i'm using my favorite blush cream blush at the moment and this one is by refi it's in the shade malaya and it's just this pretty like dusty rose pink and i like to kind of bring it underneath my under eyes and then in a c form right above my brow and blend it with the same brush that i used for my cream contour and i love doing this because obviously that kind of gives you like that effect like that ombre effect for the concealer when you go in like this and it kind of just blends all together a lot better so yeah i'm just going to grab a little bit more of concealer after this and just kind of apply like right here and then i like to just blend that out this is like the lighter concealer kind of just like to brighten my under eyes up a little more and kind of just blend that blush with the concealer as well like the way I do my makeup now is so different from like a few months back when I came on here to do my makeup. So, you know, always changing. So this is another product that I did a high-end versus cheaper alternative comparison. I compared it to the one size powder foundation and the packaging is ready. Went ahead and applied this to this eye, to this under eye. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to this one. And I feel like this is such a good powder to be drugstore, especially pairing it with the same brand concealer. Like, look how flawless that looks and just blurred. That's what I love about these powders. And they're super inexpensive, but they do what they need to do. I love going in with a powder foundation before I go in with any, like translucent powders because i feel like it's just gives you like a base to work on and it just you're not just applying like a chunk of translucent powder on top i've been doing this lately and i love it so now i'm just taking the one size translucent powder and applying that underneath i'm already tired like i want to go take a nap i've been up since like seven in the morning and i went to the gym last night around eight got back home like around 10 so i'm exhausted i really am and i'm going to be taking this cookie cosmetics bronzer in stay golden guys these are amazing they have a huge mirror and look how big they are look at the color how good it is in the undertone and these are only six dollars yeah six dollars for this so i'm starting with my forehead and then going in on my cheeks look how pretty these blushes are to be using this blush today and this one is in the shade 
61 actually doing another video right after this one because i'm doing a tiktok campaign with them and i'm so excited because it's my first campaign with any brand on tiktok and literally armani beauty so i kind of already applied blush off camera and i don't want to apply more but how they look so pretty it is only 12.05 and i think i'm actually going to be done and ready by the time i need to go pick up isla and i'm going to have time to eat my lunch as well and that's on period my eyes i'm going to be taking the same brown that i used as a bronzer and literally just like dragging that down to my nose to make it look even more snatched we want to look like we can't breathe but i feel like i've mastered on how to contour my nose because i know how to contour like my nose and what makes it look small like for example i have to like go in with bronzer like on my nostrils because these girls is huge so we need to like you know make her look a lot smaller just now the star of the show and the reason we're here the mascara let's go in with the mascara well okay mascara so this is a before and this is an after i feel like she's actually doing something for my lashes like girl stop playing with her like she said you was doubting me i'm gonna show you now and she showed me because oh my god my lashes actually look cute and then this is the gloss that i'm going to be wearing this is more kind of like a lip perfect it's called the lip perfector by clarins and this is in the shade 24 and i just love it because of the applicator it kind of just blends your lip liner with the product so seamlessly because of like that little dofa applicator that it has so really really love that all right guys so this is the final look it's really soft and pretty with no lashes and that's kind of been my jam lately to be honest so it's really up my alley but um yeah this is what the makeup turned out like i hope you enjoyed this get ready with me now let's move on to what we're gonna wear for today and i'll give you a little recap at the end of the entire event so this is the outfit you guys i already put it together because i was i'm running super late i have to go get isla soon but i paired it with a so i have a black tank top that i got from target it has like these really cute little things and it's double lined so i don't have to wear a bra and then i have my ferragamo belt which i felt like elevated the look a lot i also have these trousers are from h&m this is also from h&m i thought i'd wear like this just to kind of give it like a nice little like you know elevated look or whatnot um i'm not obsessed with these trousers because i feel like they have like this weird situation going on here but it's either this or shorts and i am not about to go on a train wearing shorts so not happening so i'm wearing these and these are kind of like cropped in the bottom and i'm wearing them with heels but i'm wearing these little ferragamo loafers and they're like in the nude shade so i feel like it'll go perfect but that's what i'm gonna be wearing to like leave and who knows i might even stay with these depending on like what i see the vibes are in there um they just say like they're celebrating because of new york fashion week so i'm not sure let's see what the vibes are when we get there but i might stay with these like i said i have to get isla and oh my god i'm so stressed but i have to go get isla now to change out of this outfit i'm just doing the outfit now just so you guys can see it and i have and i don't have to be rushing later but i have to change out of this outfit into like you know pick up outfit and i have to go get isla and i have to shower grace real quick and change her because she made a mess eating so i will see you guys at the event because i am dying right now <laughs> okay bye
Hey guys, so I'm back home. I am super tired, so I'm ending the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this get ready with me. I will see you guys in my next one.